Good evening, this is CTV News for Monday, December the 16th. I'm Sonia Shavasta. And I'm Patricia Vallone. Glad to have you with us tonight. Well, people living in a Hyattsville community can breathe a little easier now that a man responsible for two sex assaults in that area is behind bars. Police arrested Emerito Chica Savala in connection with the October incidents. Both assaults happened near the Plaza Apartments on Adelphi Road. In the first incident, investigators say that the suspect robbed two victims and sexually assaulted one of them. About 15 minutes later, Chica Savala allegedly approached two males and a female and demanded their property. Police say he sexually assaulted the female before running off. More than 22,000 Marylanders will likely lose their unemployment benefits just after Christmas. This as the latest budget deal does not extend unemployment benefits for the country's longtime jobless. 1.3 million Americans will be dropped from the rolls on December 28th. In Prince George's County, the jobless rate is over 7 percent. Sharon Peoples, who has been unemployed for over a year, says the news is very discouraging. I'm not really receiving anything, you know, at this time. I'm going day by day, you know, and it's, it's hard trying to find a job out here. And I feel sometimes, you know, like you say, you feel terrible about it because you're used to working and going about your day. And you don't want to really go, you know, keep asking people for things. Democrats say they have devised a plan to attack the issue after Congress returns from the holiday break. Area parent teacher associations have been generally using public school facilities for free, often holding fundraisers or after school activities for students. But that could soon be changing. The PTSA at John Hanson Montessori just received a bill for more than $2,500 in rental fees, even though it has less than $1,500 in its treasury. You know, the, the board is going to certainly consider other options, um, and we need to discuss that. But one of the things is that we're on a you know shoestring budget, so uh, we can't pay for a lot of the, um, you know, physically pay for a lot of the programs we want to offer. And if we have to pay uh, administrative fees to the Board of Education, uh, particularly when there's staff available. Uh, in the past, we've had a president where we don't pay when the custodian's there. So uh, it would uh, be detriment to the student and also us, because that's one of the things we're trying to do, is provide certain circumstances and enrichment programs for the children. And the school system says the administrative procedure has been in place since 1994. But John Hansen PTSA says that's not true. Vice President Nicole Nelson says that the rule change took effect last month and that the organizations have not been properly notified. Both Lindsay and Nelson say they hope PTAs and the school system can resolve the issue so that it does not negatively impact children. Well, if you hate taking off your shoes and belts at the airport, listen up. U.S. citizens and permanent residents can now go through a pre-enrollment process for expedited screening at airports in the Baltimore, Washington area. The Transportation Security Administration has opened three application centers in the region, one in Alexandria, Virginia, one in La Plata, and another in Dundalk, Maryland. You provide us with more personal information about yourself. We run a background check. Take your fingerprint, costs $85, that's good for five years, it comes to only $17 a year, and then you would be uh, receiving a known traveler number. You take that known traveler number, and when you purchase your airline ticket, you put that in the computer, and that lets us know that you are enrolled in the TSA PreCheck program, and allows you to use those expedited screening lanes. We have TSA PreCheck lanes at more than 100 airports nationwide. And what that really gets you is you get to leave your shoes on, you get to leave your jacket on, uh, you get to leave your 311 bag in the uh, carry-on, you get to leave your laptop in the carry-on when you go through the checkpoint. The TSA expects to open additional application centers in Los Angeles and New York by the end of the year and eventually more than 300 centers across the nation. BGNE customers will soon see an increase in their bills. On Friday, the Maryland Public Service Commission agreed to let the company raise its distribution rates for gas and electricity. The average customer will see an extra $2.13 on their statement. The hikes approved are less than half of what BGNE requested. Regulators also approved a monthly surcharge that will begin at eight cents per hour per excuse me per month in April and increase to 36 cents per month within five years. 
Well, got jackpot fever. The Mega Millions jackpot has jumped from $425 million to get this $586 million. And that has some residents very excited and ready to buy some tickets. So $586 million, does that entice you to play the lottery a little bit more? Of course it does. <laughs> I would. I mean, uh, 586 is, is is a lot of incentive, but you know the odds of winning. Hey, a dollar two. It takes one number to win. What I would do with the money, I would want to give it to a lot of unfortunate kids. I want to start a lot of programs in the community for real. The highest jackpot in U.S. history was last year at 656 million dollars.